Hello everyone. I am back with the PSG1 guide. Now I decided to wait a while to do this guide even though I used a sniper rifle a lot because they made some changes to it in this previous pass that they just did for Black Ops on the Wii. But we'll get to those changes later, but first we'll go over the stats. This, the stats, it has a 5 bullet clip army magazine, just like the L96 and the 15 bullet reserve, just like the L96. It recenters itself really fast, faster than any other sniper rifle in the game. Yes, even faster than the WA-2000, you just may not notice it because the WA-2000 doesn't recoil much. And as for its power, this is where they made the changes. With attachments, it is the same as it was before, when it kills the head, the neck, and the chest, as it always has been. However, for some odd reason, with no attachments on this, this thing becomes a one-hit kill to the head, neck, chest, and stomach, giving it the same power as the L96 with no attachments. <clears throat> In this video, I'm actually using no attachments to demonstrate it. That yes, indeed, it will one-hit kill to the stomach now if you do not have attachments on it. Now this could be a game changer in certain ways because usually you want to always have an attachment on your weapon but this is one of the rare exceptions to that as for what attachments are good with it though you can still use it with attachments even though you will lose that power like the variable scope is definitely a good attachment and it gives you a much you know more versatility than just having that one single zoom. Extended mags is actually not as useful now as it was before because if you use extended mags you will lose that power even though you get more bullets but you're better off just having the power instead of the bullets. And of course infrared scope to those who may like it is still good. And the next attachment is another change they actually made to all the snipers. The silencer can one-shot kill now. Before the patch, it was impossible to get a one-hit kill even if you hit them in the head if you had a silencer equipped, but now they changed it so that indeed you can get a one-shot kill to the head. Though I will be going over snipers with silencers in a different video. I figured I'd just cover all the snipe silent snipers in one single video. But yeah, as for how this sniper stacks versus the other snipers post-patch, it depends on how you like to play with it. I'd say the WA-2000 is still better for sharp shooting, or if you like to play super accurate shots consecutively, the WA-2000 is still definitely better for that. And the L96 will still beat it in power as you can put an attachment on the L96 and retain that one-shot kill to the stomach, whereas with the PSG-1 you can't. However, the PSG-1 is still a really good sniper <clears throat> in almost every respect. Like the Dragonov, it doesn't have much of a weakness, its only weakness really being its clip size is small, so if you do use an attachment on it, you will have a sm this smaller one hit kill zone but with less bullets than the other two snipers. But it is still very usable as I've gotten plenty of kills and plenty of headshots with it before the patch came up. So it's not impossible. They have a list of changes they made in the patch, actually on the Call of Duty forums. But some of the changes you may immediately notice in this video is that one, the loading times for going in the match are much faster than what they were before. As you notice, there is apparently no more black screen of death, where in with you can't do anything after you spawn. Also, you may notice that the weapon camo colors also load a lot faster. I actually haven't noticed the point of the camo where the gun becomes all one color. <coughs> and also, the connection seems to be a tad bit better compared to what it was before. 
as I did host a game before and it actually wasn't so bad. There was still a tad bit of lag, but you know, it wasn't utterly terrible like it was before. And yeah, right here I kill myself because I ran out of ammo. As instead of picking up someone else's gun, I decided to kill myself so I can get all my ammo back because this is a PSG1 video. But yeah, could have tried for a flawless game, but decided not to. And I would have failed right there anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, other changes they did fix hacker. So yeah, you can now see the stuff through walls, which is good. It's not game breaking actually, but it is much more useful than it was before. It's the way it should have been, actually. As for Ninja, they said they upped the volume of footsteps for Ninja, but for Ninja Pro, I mean, but I myself have tried it, and I don't notice much of a difference at all. Maybe it's because I didn't have my volume high enough, but... Yeah, apparently it's still... Extremely hard to hear people's footsteps. However, your footsteps are completely silent, period, even on all surfaces. Which is which can be good if you could hear the enemy's footsteps, but since you can't really hear them that well, it doesn't help as much. But it does help with hearing other sounds. Other than that, I forgot what else they changed. There hasn't been I don't notice many other changes other than the faster loading, better connections, and all that cool stuff. But yeah, it was a, definitely a good patch. And here, right here, the guy failed a knife. I don't understand how he didn't knife me, but oh well. It's one of the top ways you can die is people ninja knifing you from behind. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I mean, maybe they'll fix the ninja thing in another patch. <coughs> also, you may have noticed from the start of this video, instead of using Ghost like I always do, I'm using Hardline. Figured I'd try to s switch up strategies instead of going for a more sneaky approach. Go for the approach of filling up the sky with kill streaks while killing people from a safe distance away. It actually did work out pretty good, so I may use this setup more often. For the next video, I will be doing a silent, the silent snipers, so you guys can look forward to that, and I hope you all have a good day, evening, night, whatever time it is where you are. See you later.